A McAdoo investigation into the cleanliness of hotel rooms has elicited a huge response. And they're not done digging up dirt. This week, Erica Johnson takes a close-up look at ice machines. It may give you another reason to resist the minibar. We collected ice in six of Canada's biggest hotel chains, then sent the samples to the University of Guelph for testing. What did microbiologist Keith Warner find at half the hotels we tested? coliform bacteria, a sign the ice could have fecal contamination. You have to clean the filters out, you have to clean the ice machine up every six months, not very often. Do you think that's happening? Certainly not by these councils. At least one hotel in every chain we check tested positive for coliform. And one high-end hotel had something even more serious. At the Toronto Sheridan Centre... You can see these blue colonies here. Mm -hmm. They're E. coli. E. coli is in the ice machine? That's right. Um, so these are recovered from an ice machine. And when you get E. coli in water, that is a big indicator that you've got some sort of contamination from fecal sources there. Uh, this is a big concern, having E. coli in water. The E. coli strain we found at the Toronto Sheridan Centre isn't deadly. Still... Minimum standards, you should have at least expect clean ice. When we drink out of a faucet, we expect the water to be safe. But it seems that when you take ice out of an ice machine, in this hotel especially, it's not safe. And yes, it definitely help for it. We told the Toronto Sheridan Centre about finding E. coli. They wouldn't do an interview, but in an email said, we are taking immediate steps to address these findings, which are completely unacceptable to us. All ice machines are being cleaned now. Other hotel chains we tested told us they're concerned about our test results too and are stepping up their cleaning. Erica Johnson, CBC News, Vancouver.